Hey guys, Coach Sue here with Physique Development and a common pain point with a lot of our clients is getting in enough micronutrients. So I thought I would show you guys how Alex and I get in our recommended amount of fruits and veggies throughout the day. I will say I'm much more of a fruit fiend, but there's ways to go ahead and get in vegetables, sneak in vegetables. But the biggest thing I wanna push forward here is figuring out what's going to be easy for you. So when it comes to vegetables, if it's already hard, then maybe buying vegetables, cooking them all might be a little bit harder. So we actually go with a lot of frozen veggies. So I don't have to worry about veggies going bad and I can always have them on hand. One second. We do things like the triple berry frozen berries and I use this to make a berry compote. We have bananas that I have frozen as well as spinach frozen because this goes bad so quickly so it's great to have it um, all frozen. We have this triple pepper blend with onions that you'll see me use throughout the day for some different meals. Also using like peas and carrots and chopped onions which again you'll see in some different meals and things like this teriyaki stir fry which has broccoli, bok choy, carrots, red bell peppers, yellow bell peppers, onions, and a sweet and savory teriyaki sauce. But looking at what is going to be easy and manageable for us and figuring out what vegetables you like. I know that there's a lot of vegetables we're growing up. I just was like, vegetables stink. But as an adult, I've really figured out what vegetables I do like. And a lot of it came from learning what was going to be the best way to cook them. So a great example here is carrots. I could care less about carrots all growing up until I had air fried carrots and then I was sold. So it might be a matter of playing around with how you cook your vegetables as well as how they can fit into your meals in a very manageable way. So let's go ahead to breakfast and check out what we do and you'll be following us along for the rest of the meals. I'm getting lunch ready, but you'll see that in a little bit. Getting started with meal one, I go ahead and get in a serving of fruits with this berry compote. And have no fear, this is gonna be in the sous chef cookbook coming out later, but it has those frozen berries I showed you earlier. So there's blackberries, raspberries, and blueberries, and this compote can be used in so many different ways. Then you see me throwing those same frozen veggies I showed you earlier on the pan for Alex. So has the three different kinds of bell peppers as well as some onions in there, being able to put it in his breakfast for Burrito. And if you want to know how to make his breakfast burrito, it is over on the physique development TikTok. Going into my meal, now this recipe is not published anywhere, but again, will be in the sous chef cookbook. And as you saw me putting it together, there are frozen bananas in there and spinach. So in my breakfast, I get two servings of fruit and a serving of vegetables. I'm hitting my macros and filling up my micros. And Alex gets a serving of veggies in his breakfast in a way that is really freaking enjoyable for him. He absolutely loves the breakfast burrito. And you could even add zucchini to this. You could add chopped up carrots or being able to use carrots, the shredded carrots, and use those as kind of a faux hash brown to go ahead and add in there. There are so many different ways to do this when it comes to sneaking in those fruits and vegetables throughout the day. And of course, a little tail wag ain't nothing to it. Getting started with meal two, we had a visitor, my sister came by, so Gus and Tucker of course needed their attention from their aunt, but Alex had beef and rice and squash and zucchini, so another serving of vegetables for him. Squash and zucchini are very mild in taste profile, so they go great just to add in that extra bulk. Then for myself, I have this rice cake with raspberries and peanut butter on it, and raspberries are a great source of fiber and just delicious. And then I have turkey rice and chocolate chopped up spinach. So for both of those meals, the vegetables are chopped up finely. They are not very detectable, but we're still able to get in those micronutrients that we need. Going on to my next meal here, I have another side of fruit. Surprise, surprise. I told you I was a fruit fiend and I do not discriminate. Red and green grapes are welcome here. So when we look at this next meal, I stole this from, hey, when I go and get a sandwich at a shop or a restaurant, what are the vegetables I normally add? on and that's going to be some red onion some tomato some spinach or lettuce some green pepper that's what i went ahead and bought so i could put it on my sandwich at home so those vegetables another serving of vegetables for me the side of fruit of course i have my protein on there and sourdough bread because nothing is better than sourdough bread 
Then when we look at the next meal here for Alex, this is a meal he says he could eat for every meal and it is his chicken fried rice. So we have the carrots and peas from that frozen veggie mix as well as those chopped onions. And what do you know, I am a fruit fiend so I'm back at it again with strawberries and bananas on my cream of rice. And to wrap up Alex's last meal, he has chicken teriyaki, which are all those frozen vegetables from earlier mixed in with some chicken and rice. Now that you've seen a lot of our meals, another way that we get servings of fruits and vegetables in is through our snacks. So we have things like these Kate the Real Food Bars. So this has cherries in it. Um, so a great way to get in another serving of fruit. And then these Made Good Bars actually have a serving of vegetables in them. So this is an easy thing that we would probably already have a Rice Krispie, but now we have some vegetables, so they're good to go. So the big, big takeaways here when you're trying to figure out how to have more vegetables in your meals is first looking at what type of meals do you like eating? Are there any meals that you go out to restaurants that you really enjoy and you know you like that vegetable? The other thing is figuring out which vegetables you do like and how you like them cooked. So playing around with a few different varieties of, okay, do I like this sauteed? Do I like this baked? Do I like this steamed? Do I like it air fried? What is going to be best for me? And then being sneaky with things. So the reason that you see a lot of squash and spinach is because those are two things that have extremely mild flavors. So I can add that to a meal without taking away from what that meal is while still feeling good about getting in those micronutrients. So let me know how you get vegetables in throughout your day. I'd love to hear your favorite vegetable or fruit packed meal below, but that's how we hit our fruit and veggies as health and fitness coaches.